Joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Michael Entrader. He is the co-founder and CEO at CoreWeave. Michael, fantastic to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. It's great to be back again. Really looking forward to talking. Wonderful. So why don't we start off by you giving me a quick overview of the company and also share some of the progress you've done over the past six months. Sure. It's been an amazing six months for us. Um, so uh, the, the way you should think about CoreWeave is CoreWeave is a specialized cloud computing company. And what we mean by that is that we have built a cloud that is purpose-built from the ground up in every possible way from the hardware through the software to ultimately clients to be able to serve uh, the most compute intensive workloads on the planet. And so we've built our software stack to be able to support artificial intelligence. We are the workhorse that is training the AI models that all of us are using on a regular basis. Now tell me about the progress over the past six months. I mean, incredible milestone you're here today. It, it's been, like I said, it's been an incredible uh, um, uh, six months for us. It's actually been an incredible like two years for us because um, when we when we built our company, we really built our software to be able to um, scale infinitely uh, and to be able to support um, these type of workloads. But the speed and the the uh, uh, scale of the buy interest and demand for our products um, obviously has caught everybody by surprise. And so we have been uh, uh, really working very, very diligently um, to build larger and larger uh, um, uh, fabrics, larger and larger supercomputers all across the country into Europe uh, in order to support the demand of our clients for training models, for serving models, um, you know, really, really the backbone of, of artificial intelligence is, as, as it's being used at this point. Now, amazing milestone, raised $1.1 billion on your Series C. Tell me, how are you planning to deploy this capital? Yeah, so so uh, one point one billion dollars, a lot of money. Um, it's actually been a, a series of, of very large raises for us. Uh, last year, um, in April, we raised uh, four hundred twenty million dollars in our B round, uh, and then we raised a two point three billion dollar debt facility uh, with with wonderful partners like Magnetar, uh, Blackstone, BlackRock, Pimco, uh, and then uh, at the very end of last year, we raised six hundred and seventy five million dollars. Oh, excuse me, six hundred and forty million dollars in a secondary transaction. Um, this year, uh, um, as the order sizes continue to scale, as the demand for our product continued to increase, um, we went ahead and initiated the C round, and the C round brought in an additional uh, uh, $1.1 .1 billion with some really amazing investors, including uh, Co2, who led the round, um, uh, Altimeter, as well as Magnetar, returning for another uh, um, uh, um, slug of stock, uh, Fidelity coming in and buying again. Um, so really a, a, a incredible validation from the financial community to uh, the, the solution that we've created um, and to our ability to uh, build, scale, and execute on our roadmap as we continue to build the company. So this block of capital will go towards uh, increasing um, our staffing so that we can keep up with demand. It will go towards increasing our footprint, uh, both within the US and in Europe. Uh, it will uh, uh, um, provide us with the resources to be able to take uh, a much more aggressive position around securing uh, the resources that we need to be able to build these clusters in an environment that has a challenged supply chain. And so more capital allows you more flexibility so that you can move faster. Now the company has scaled so quickly. How have you been able to do this? Uh, we try to keep it pretty simple, right? Um, at, at the end of the day, um, we do certain things amazingly well. And uh, we try to bring in partners to help us uh, um, with all the other things that you need to build a business. And so when, when, uh, when you keep your, your, your vision uh, uh, firmly on the, the outcomes that you want, um, for instance, we don't, we're not here to build a cloud that serves everyone. Right? We're not here to build a cloud that's going to store people's photos or store people's uh, or, or, or stand up people's uh, websites. What we're here to do is we're here to build the massive scale computing that's required to train the most computationally intense models on the planet and, uh, and to serve those models when people are using and querying uh, artificial intelligence. And so by keeping the, the breadth of uh, the different functions that we do 
narrowly focused on that, we can build solutions that are incredibly focused and we don't have to make compromises in any way to support uh, what we would consider to be distractions for the cloud right now for us to deliver compute. Okay, now tell me, what's next? Uh, well, uh, we've got our hands full. Um, we've got a lot of work to do because we, you know, with all this money that we've raised, um, we're gonna be really focused on building the clusters that, we've, that we need to deliver to our clients. Um, you know, we're, we're obviously um, uh, uh, such a capital intensive business that we're going to be returning to the capital markets again and again, and so we're preparing for that. Um, you know, and we're, we've got our eyes open to try and figure out how to go ahead and continue to scale this business as much as possible um, uh, during this time when, when services that we provide are so uniquely in demand. Michael, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Congratulations. And Thank thanks you for joining much. me. Appreciate the time to talk to you. All right.